My name is Mark Barrow, and I got my bachelor's degree here at Colorado State University in electrical engineering. And currently, I'm a master's student. I'm doing research here for Dr. Roca. I am trying to write a computer simulation of the X-ray laser that we're trying to create. So we have a powerful laser that comes in, heats a target, ablates it, creates a plasma, and then that basically that plasma expands and then it heats and then it creates a, la a second laser pulse that's in the x-ray region. And that entire process I'm trying to simulate. One of the goals of the center and the research is really to make uh, EUV and x-ray lasers much smaller, more compact, higher rep rate, just basically more usable in, the, in other fields of research and within the industry. Uh, one of the really interesting aspects of where they can be used is in the near future EUV lithography which is basically the printing of next generation computer chips. To make faster computer chips we need shorter wavelengths and this is really the next technology that can basically take that place. Research is just really interesting. It um, offers an amazing array of challenges and variety every day. You, it seems like you have a new problem, a new challenge to overcome. You never seem to get pigeonholed into doing the same task over and over. It's just very unique. Um, it fails most of the time, but that's actually one of the joyous parts because all my friends don't understand how I can be happy when it fails most of the time, but when it works, it's an amazing feeling. It's unlike anything else you've ever experienced in any class. I intend to continue my work uh, through a P PhD. I plan to basically um, continue with the model, more or less completed at the master's level, and then for my doctorate, I hope to refine the model a little bit and use it to predict some experimental results and conduct some experimentation along with the theory that goes with the model. Uh, Dr. Roca is uh, he's a really good advisor. He um, is very t dedicated towards his work. He has an extremely strong work ethic and you really have no choice but to follow that. But if, if you're willing to work and if you're willing to really do your research, he's an incredible advisor. He really cares about his students. You can see that he's always willing to help students with anything from their projects to their classes to their personal life. And then also he gets, he gets results. Dr. Roca is able to obtain uh, a number of results. And so you're part of that. You're part of the research. And you, it's not that he gives you some little task that you don't understand. It's that he really gives you part of the research so you can feel that, oh, I did that. You really feel like you're on the edge. You're doing stuff that people haven't done. It seems like every other day one of the groups within the center has broken some new ro world record that they probably set themselves earlier, but <laughs> it's really quite interesting to see how it's just advancing so quickly. Well, if you're thinking about going to graduate school, it's, I think it's really important to figure out exactly what you want to do. You can certainly change your mind, but, it's, but if you can find the area that you're interested in and find a professor who's known in that area, such as Dr. Roca within UV Optics, um, it's really incredible to go in and work under a professor who's really knowledgeable in that area and you learn so much and you're so enthusiastic about the material because you like it and the professor's enthusiastic about the material because they love it. It really makes a great match.